Hey guys, this is Rupin and today I'm going to show you one more VMware tutorial. So head on over to your VMware workstation or VMware player, whatever you have installed. So today I'm going to show you how you can test a USB or basically boot from a USB drive in VMware. So I've made this virtual machine test USB and um, how you make this virtual machine is very simple. I'm going to show you right now. So to create the VM, just open your wizard and you'll want to select, I want to install the operating system later. And here, this is a very important step and this will vary for everyone. So if you're watching this video, you probably have a bootable USB drive that you want to test into your VM or like boot into it through your VM. So whatever guest operating system you have on that bootable disk, uh, you'll want to select that here. It's safer to go with Linux. Um, if you're trying Windows, then select Windows. Um, I would say if you have like a normal OS or something, just select Linux. That's the safest option in my opinion. Okay, so the name can be anything, Windows 7. I'm trying out a Windows 7 USB installer today, which I had lying around. So what you want to do here after you make the VM, you can customize the hardware and let's give this 2 GB of RAM. Um, let's give this four processors. And the next step to do is you'll want to select an ISO file. So the ISO file is pplbt.iso. Sounds like an odd name, but that's what it is. Um, I have it in the description. It's a Google Drive link, so go ahead and download that and use that as a ISO file. Uh, please ensure that you have a USB controller here. If it isn't there, then you'll not be able to detect your USB drives and let's just close this we finish with this and click finish to make your vm so let's power on this virtual machine if you remember we didn't install the operating system we just uh, booted into the cd which was the iso file so this is the kind of thing you'll get the star field kind of thing and three options Going into the VM, uh, you can see the options and when you click USB, it'll say no root device found because the USB isn't connected yet. To do that, um, just go on to your VM tab and removable devices and you should see your bootable drive here, whatever the name is. After this, Go back into the VM and again select USB and this time as you can see it detected the Windows 7 installer and now it's starting up. So I'm not going to waste your time with everything and showing you how it boots up and everything. And this is probably the end of the video. I haven't uploaded many videos since a while and I plan on introducing a few more topics and doing a few more videos soon. So look out for them and click like and subscribe, uh, comment. I'll respond if you have any questions and see you next time.